one generation passes away and another generation comes, but the earth abides forever. The sun also rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where he arose. This is Paris of today. Our story deals with another Paris, the Paris of 1922, shortly after what used to be called the Great War. We were part of that spectacular lost generation of young people who continued to live as though they were about to die. Number 49 Avenue de l'Opera was the center of our working world. But we lived across the river on the left bank in a bohemian world of poets, painters, and writers. Hello, Jake. Good to see you. How are you? Fine, fine, thanks. You look fine. You don't remember me, do you? Paris, from the Ospedale Maggiore in Milano. Of course. I'm sorry. You, you were with the bombardment squadron. That's it. Had ten operations, and I still can't bend my knee. You about through now? Yeah, a couple of months more, and then home. I'm never going to see my face this side of the water again. Hey, what are you still doing over here? Oh, I'm working. Oh, that's right. I remember you were a newspaper man before the war. So you decided to stay here, huh? Well, that's not the way I'd play it. I'm going home, even if it is too late to be a hero. Well, uh, good luck to you, Harry. Yeah, you too. Uh, Barnes. You're all right, aren't you? Yeah, sure. Uh, give me a call. If you're going to be in town for a while, we'll have a drink, huh? I'll do that. So long. So long, Jake. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, Ralph. Good morning, Mr. Bond. Good morning, Mrs. Lloyd. Take care of the case. Thank you. Mr. Jackson is anxious to know how you're coming along on the League of Nations piece. Oh, well, tell him I'll have it for him Sunday, and the Woodrow Wilson piece sometime next week. Yes, sir. Uh, you have a visitor, Mr. Cohn. He insisted on waiting. Francis, I can't. Why do you expect me to keep on writing if you have to be this way? Can't you understand, Francis? Huh? Oh. Hi, Jake. Hello, Robert. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. I'm sorry. Yes. It's all right. Was 
like talking in my sleep? Uh-huh. Sorry, I must have been having a bad dream. Oh, Robert? No, thanks. I wanted to talk to you. I didn't get any sleep at all last night. What's the matter? I don't know. I haven't slept for weeks. Maybe you ought to see a doctor. I don't need a doctor. I need to get away. Um, everything's been going wrong, Jake. Francis, the book. I can't seem to do anything right. Well, that happens to everybody. I know. That's why I want to get away for a while. How'd you like to go to South America with me, Jake? Not much. Why not? Well, I don't know. It's expensive. You see all the South Americans in Paris anyway. Why don't you take Francis? She wouldn't like it. Look, if I handle both our expenses, would you go? No. I like Paris. Anyway, I always go to Spain in July. You can do that next year. Why don't you think about it, Jake? All right, Robert, I'll think about it. But in the meantime, I've got to get out some cables. Okay, I'll go. How about dinner tonight? I'm sorry, I, uh, I have a date. Then why don't we meet after dinner? We're all going to that Bal Musette on the Rue Saint Geneviève. There's a dancing tonight. All right, I'll see if I can make it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about falling asleep, Jake. Don't give it a thought, Robert. I'll see you. Merci. Vous êtes très gentil. What would you like to drink? Pernod. Well, that's not good for little girls. Little girl yourself. Garçon, un Pernod. Oui, American. Yes. I hope you don't mind. No. I've got nothing against Americans. You going on a party? I don't know. You never know in this lousy town. You don't like Paris? No. Why don't you go somewhere else? There isn't anywhere else. You're in a fine mood. Mm hmm. I like your dress. You? I don't like your hat. <laughs> well, I still like your dress. I buy a different one every day. How would you like to buy me dinner? Why not? Where should we go? Anywhere. I don't care. You know, uh, Paramount? No, no. Paramount, no. Food's good. Well, this is something. Let's get a taxi. Are we going to eat in there? 
Well, maybe you'd like to keep the cab and go on to Maxine's, hmm? Well, as long as you say the food is good. Yes, sure. Of course he's coming. And bring your friends. Yes, I will. I don't want to sit there. I want to sit over here, where I can see. Who is that Jake Scott with him? I don't know. Why, your friends? Oh, some writers and artists. Oh, there are a lot of them on this side of the river. Too many. I think so. Still, some of them make money. I suppose so. Anyway, it's cheaper to live here than in New York. Louis? Can we do it for me? Do a pair s'il vous plaît. Maxine? Well, you were right. The food was good. I didn't like the coffee. All right. I'll admit it could be better. Well, where do we go now? That's up to you. What about that dancing at the Bal Musette? What's the matter? Don't you like me? I like you fine. Well, what's the matter? What's wrong? I was hurt in the war. I'm sorry. By the way, what's your name? Georges. The news? Jacob. I'm sorry you were wounded. Oh, it doesn't matter. It happened a long time ago. I like you, Jacob. You're a nice man. You really have to wear that hat. Cochet! Oh, Bal Mr. Braddock, Mr. Cohn. May I present my fiance, Mademoiselle Georgette Leblanc. Oh, really? Are you related to Georgette Leblanc, the singer? Connais pas. But you have the same name. No, my name is Aubin. But surely Mr. Barnes introduced you as Mademoiselle Georgette Leblanc. He's a fool. Oh, 
Oh, it was a joke, then? Yes, to love her. Who is she? Do I have to talk to her? You don't have to talk to anyone. Come on, let's get that drink. Here, Jake, will you have? I'll get it. Just a beer. Excuse me. And what's that? Yeah. Would you like to dance? Yes. Why not? Excuse me. Who is she, Jake? I don't know. Hello, Jake. Hello, Francis. How are you? Fine, thanks. Robert, let's sit down now. No, I want to talk to Jake for a minute. Well, I think I'll go home. All right. No improvement since this morning. Huh? Oh, there's no solution. It's over, Jake. Finished. What about South America? Have you thought any more about it? Sure, I've thought about it, but I still don't want to go. Why? I told you why. And we're going to another country isn't going to help. It might help me. I doubt it. I told you, too, that I'm going to Spain. I'm going to do some fishing and see some bullfights. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Bonsoir, messieurs dames. Enchanté de vous voir. Hey, Jake. Who's that? Encantado de ver por aquí otra vez a tan distinguida dama. Hello, how are you? I think it's the most beautiful woman I've seen in years. Who is she, Jake? Her name's Brett Ashley. Why haven't I seen her before? I guess she's been away. Oh, correct! Correct! Correct, my dear. Hello. Oh, oh, I've got something fun to tell you. And I want you to meet a friend of mine. Lady Ashley, I'd like to present Count Mitty Populos. Does your ladyship enjoy your stay in Paris? Oh, yes, fine. Well, Paris is all right as a town, but I understand there is big doings over there. <laughs> yes, huge. Mm. Uh, does uh, your ladyship care to dance? Mm, a little later, thank you. Hello, Jay. Hello, Brett. I didn't know you were back. Yes, I just got back. Oh, excuse me, Lady Brett Ashley, Mr. Robert Cohn. How do you do? He thinks you're the most beautiful woman he's ever seen. Oh, that's very nice to hear, but I'm sure you're not serious. I assure you I am. It's a fine crowd you're with, Brett. Yes, that's been lovely. And you, darling, are you having a lovely evening? Priceless. Would you care to dance, Lady Brett? Sally, but I promise this one to Jacob. Jacob, you have a terribly biblical name. I didn't pick it, or perhaps I'd have done better. But well, what about the next one? Well, we'll see. I never make plans. It's easy. Yes, yes, yes. Would you take this for me? Thank you. You've made a new conquest there. Have I? It's nice. I suppose you'd like to add them up, hmm? Oh, stop it, Jim. What's the matter? You were gay a minute ago. Yes, I know. But it's all gone now. Darling, I love you. I can't help myself. But I know it's no good. Let's get out of here. You don't mind, do you? Come on. Jay! Jay! What's that going, are you? I'd like to get some air. Well, at least let me buy you a drink. You know, the bar's too crowded. I'll get it. What do you have? Oh, fair enough. You, Jake? Oh, just another beer. Now, was that really necessary? I didn't want to argue. Oh, really? 
great. Zizi. Yeah. Zizi, I came with that girl in green. The one with the feather on. That's right. If she asks for me, give her this, will you? But uh, will she understand? I think so. Just tell her it's taxi fare home. She must live in Marseille. Hey, Zizi. Qu'est-ce qui se passe avec Lady Ashley? Oui, elle est partie avec Monsieur Barnes. Le select, s'il vous plaît. Merci bien, Monsieur. Ça va, ça va. Taxi? A taxi? No, here. Oh, darling, I've been so miserable. It rained every day in Vienna. And the Danube's brown is not blue. And I missed you, I missed you. It didn't work out. Being away from you was worse than being here. It wasn't exactly easy for me. I suppose not. Funny thing, but the first week I was all right. I didn't have a drink, not one. And then I ran into some people we knew during the war, and it all started all over again. <sighs> Nothing ever really changes, does it? I know I shouldn't have come back. But I couldn't stay away out of it. We can't go through all that hell again. No. I had to see you, you understand. You said to me that one day I'd come to hate you. I wish I did. I'm going to marry Michael, Jake, and go away with him. It's the only thing. Heard from him? Almost every day. He's in Scotland. Well, he's a nice guy. What about you, Jacob? Are you all right? Yes, I could be worse off. I could be dead. Don't we pay for the things we do, though? When I think of all the hell I've put other people through. I'm paying for it all now. And don't be silly. Would you mind if I ask you to do something? Of course not. Will you kiss me just once more before we get there? Merci, messieurs. Bonsoir, monsieur Dan. Un bien, un perno, s'il vous plaît. Tout de suite, monsieur. Feel better? A little. Where's Robert Cohen, Jake? A writer. Why? Just interested in your friend. He's my tennis friend. He doesn't look the athletic type. Well, that shows how wrong you can be. He was middleweight boxing champion of Princeton. Really? Mm. Well, he certainly doesn't look very pugnacious. He learned to box in order to survive in the Ivy League. I don't think he's ever hit anyone in his life outside a gym. You did say Perno, didn't you, Lady Brett? I certainly did. It's very nice of you to remember. It wasn't very long ago. Sit down, Robert. Why did you leave the dancing? For well, the same reason you did. It's too hot. Everybody's coming over here. Who's everybody? Well, the Count, ZZ, the Braddocks. 
You know, that girl you brought got into a terrible row after you left. She has a wonderful command of the idiom. <laughs> what happened then? I don't know. I came here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I'm going home. Oh, no, don't go. It's early. It's not that early. Lady Brett, I wonder what has happened to you. My dear sir, you have spirited the lady away, but I cannot say I blame you. Well, I didn't spirit her far enough, it seems. You're absolutely right. Lady Brett, I know you love dancing. Therefore, I brought with me the musicians. Zizi, occupe toi la musique. Will I see you tomorrow? Sure. Call me around five. All right. Well, my dear sir, you sure you wouldn't stay with us and have a glass of wine? No, oh, thank you, but I have to work in the morning. Good night, Robert. Oh, I'm sorry, very sorry. You're leaving again? Yes, I'm a working man. I'm a working girl. Well, I guess we keep different hours. Probablement. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Good night, Peter. Good night, Jake. Good night, The show makes me sick, that's all. Yes, I know. Lady Brett Ashley, Jake. Her name's Ashley. Brett's her own name. She's an American. Married an Englishman during the war. He was killed in Flanders. Have you known her a long time? Sure. She was a VAD in a hospital I was in in Italy during the war. It's very attractive. There's a quality about her. A certain style. She's very nice. Seems to be absolutely fine and straight. You sound as if you were pretty interested. I am. Well, then, let me give you the facts. She's a drunk and a drifter. She's gonna marry a guy named Mike Campbell. That way, she'll have a rich but sodden old age. I don't believe it. I don't ask a lot of fool questions if you don't like the answers. Well, I didn't ask you for a rundown in her private life. You're asking what I knew about her? I didn't ask you to insult her. Oh, go to hell. Make that fact. Cut out the prep school stuff, Robert. Take it back. Sure, sure. I never heard of Brett Ashley. How's that? No, not that. About me going to hell. Well, don't go to hell. Go back in the select, if that's what you want. All right. I will.
Where are you taking me? Back into the sun. Doctor's orders. I know this may sound ungrateful, but whatever made you become a nurse? You're not exactly the type. Oh, I don't know. It, it seemed like a good idea at the time. The only person I really cared about was gone. He was killed in 1916. Your husband? What a rotten time everybody's had. I know, but it's almost over now. So they say. Where will you go? I don't know. Paris. I was there once on leave. I liked it. I might see you there. Yes? There's no point in going back to England. Maybe Paris is the answer. Well, I, I have to run now. So soon? You're not the only patient in the hospital, you know. No, I thought I was. See you later. Goodbye. Good morning, Barnes. Good morning, Doctor. How's everything in the sick and sorry paddock? Oh, usual ailments. How's the hand? Oh, it's all right. Just a little clumsy. I think we can take the bandages off in a day or two. Then you can start the exercises. You should be out of here in a month. Back to the squadron? No, I'm afraid not. Doctor, don't you think it's about time you stopped lying to me? What do you want to know, Barnes? Am I going to be all right? There'll be certain after effects from your wound. That's to be expected. The important thing is that the shell fragment that entered your back missed your spine. So you'll be able to walk and move about absolutely normally. However... Go on. You're going to be impotent. Sorry, but you asked me for the truth. Sure. Cigarette? Is it all right if I smoke? Of course. Thanks for being honest with me anyway. Jake! 
Une fois pour tous, ce n'est pas possible. Sortez, sortez. J'appelle la police. C'est une maison en aide. Je vous dis, Yay. descendez. Yay. Descendez. C'est quelqu'un pour moi, Madame Blanche. Laissez la monter. Ah bon, c'est ça. I was only coming up to see you, Jake, but this woman's making a terrible row. What a silly thing to do. Start a row like that. You weren't asleep, were you? Well, what did you think I was doing? I don't know. What time is it? Well, it's almost 4.30. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you mind if I sit down? Don't be cross, darling. I'm not cross. Oh, I look a mess. Can I have a drink? Try and make me drunk. Who did you come with? Hmm? Who brought you here? Oh, oh, the count. You know he's quite nice, really. Is he? Where did you go with him? Oh, everywhere. He's waiting downstairs for me now. Very devoted of him, don't you think? You know, he offered me $10,000 to go to Biarritz with him. I told him I couldn't do it. I told him I know too many people in Biarritz. So I said, what about Cannes? I told him I know too many people in Cannes. I told him I know too many people everywhere. He's very nice about it. I'm glad. Don't look like that. I... I told him I was in love with you. It's true. He was very nice about that, too. Said in that case, we'd just be friends. That's why he's waiting downstairs now. He wants to take us to breakfast in the bois. You know why I really came here? Why? Because I wanted to see you. Isn't that silly? Wake a man up just for that. Brett? Yes? Is this all part of a personal cure? There is no cure. You know that. Who's your admirer now? Come in, come in. Mr. Barnes, I hope that the fact of our intrusion would be forgiven just as soon as you will taste some of this delicious wine. Oh, please don't apologize, Carl. I'm sure Jake doesn't mind at all. No, I don't mind, as long as you didn't bring your band. <laughs> well, I wanted to, but they wouldn't come. Uh, Zizi, put this thing on the table. Uh, open the bottle. It's not cold enough yet. It'll chill much quicker once it opens. And now, if you don't mind, I'll join you in the car a little bit later. Just as you say, Your Highness. Is this he on your payroll card? Not officially. I just allow him to, uh, to steal from me <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> of course, I know we are not given much chance to enjoy really good wine in the States now, but this one I got from my friend who is in the business. Oh, you always know somebody in the trade. Well, this particular fella raises the grapes. He's got thousands of acres of them. Oh, what's his name? Vertlico? No. Mum. He's a baron. Couldn't we have some of this wine now? I'd like to drink a toast to a man I know in Scotland. A very nice guy. Well, this wine is much too good for the toast drinking. 
You should never mix up emotions with the wine like this, my dear. You lose the taste. You ought to write a book on wines, Count. Mr. Barnes, all I want out of wine is to enjoy it. Well, let's enjoy some now. Well, there you are, my dear. Enjoy it, but very slowly. Later, you can get drunk. Jack, listen to the man. Oh, you're very charming when you get drunk. I am not. I talk too much. I've just talked myself all out here to Jay. You know, Lady Brett, I really would like to hear you talk. Because when you talk to me, you never finish your sentences. Leave it for you to finish. Leave it for anyone to finish the way they please. You know, you both are very nice people. Why don't you get married, you two? We want to lead our own lives. Yes, we have our careers. Come on, Count. Let's get out of here. Would you like to join us, Jay? No. Um, oh, just a minute, Count. You forgot your champagne. I did not forget it, my dear sir. Well, you're killing him. Hello, Jake. Hey, Robert. I'm sorry about last night. Don't be silly. It's all my fault. Are you busy for lunch? Yes. I gotta see my mother's lawyer. She's only gonna be in town for a couple of days. I wanted to talk to you. Anything the matter, Jake? No, no, it, it can wait. You know, I really think you're wrong about Brett Ashley. If she ever found the right guy. Uh huh. No, I'm serious. Well, that's good. You going somewhere? Yes. Made up my mind today. With Francis? No. No. I'm sick of Paris, Jake. The change never hurt anybody. You're a wide open, kid. I you plan to be gone for some time. You going to South America? No, 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 no. You know, you're in an awful good mood. Something must have happened. I'm not so sure I don't like you better when you're unhappy. Mr. Jackson telephoned. They're using your flashing story on Saturday. He asked me to tell you that he was very pleased with it. Fine. Has he read it? Of course. Well, one never knows. Hey, get Lady Ashley on the phone for me, will you please? Yes, sir. Welcome. 
welcome to Paris. Uh, oh, I've been traveling. Jake, I've met every bartender from Copenhagen to Vienna. And Jake, they're wonderful people. All of them, wonderful people. <laughs> Mr. Bond, I spoke with Lady Ashley's maid. It seems she's gone out of town. Out of town? Yes, sir. Well, thank you, Mrs. Bond. Hey, Jake, come on. Come on, the fish are biting. I can see that from here. Don't you think you ought to introduce me to your friend? What's your name? Um, your name, ah, yeah. Je m'appelle Marie Geneviève Bidgarde. <laughs> I'll introduce you later. I'll be right down and help you. Oh, you. Au revoir. Merci mille fois. Revenez bientôt. Bonsoir. Au revoir. Oh, ça c'est rien. C'est un gars qui passe tous les matins avec ses chefs pour distribuer du lait. What she say? She says they're goats. Hmm? That's just what I need. There's nothing like goat's milk to prevent a hangover. No, 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 no. You can't drink that. It's not pasteurized. There's nothing that goat can give me that I can't give her. Just give oh, me. Oh oui, mais moi j'ai faim. Huh? J'ai faim. What she say? J'ai faim. She's hungry. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll see that you're well fed. Well fed. Et puis j'ai froid aussi. Huh? Puis j'ai froid. Oh, what'd she say? J'ai froid. She's cold. Oh. You have a jacket? You have a jacket. Ah, eh? oh, oui. <laughs> voilà. Well, that ought to keep you nice and warm. Yeah. Merci. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on. Ah, oh, isn't this wonderful? I sure love this bird. Yes, but they're cutting a new street through right down there, see? Hmm? Here, look, I'll show you. That's what I mean. Oh, uh, they would. They're doing it everywhere. Except Spain. Yeah, except Spain. They'll get there. We'll get there first, old man. We'll get there first. These are yours. Oh, working for the common good, huh? That's what I like to see. Any more coffee? Sure, plenty. Help yourself. Might as well drink it all. I will. Coffee's good for you. It's the caffeine in it. Oh. Ooh. Caffeine, we are here. Caffeine puts a man on her horse and a woman in his grave. Hey, didn't that friend of yours in Paris, who had all those pictures, say that we were the lost generation? Yes, she was a great talker, but I liked her pictures better. Whatever became of that girl who used to hang around in Paris? Oh, what was her name? Brett! What about her? Were you in love with her? Yeah. Very long? Yes, off and on for a long time. I'm sorry. It's all right, it's all over now. You're not sorry I asked, are you? No, no. Why don't we go into the fiesta? I want to see the bullfights. Day after tomorrow. If you want to get any fishing in, you better get started.
Hola, Jake. ¿Qué tal, hombre? Muy bien, Juanito. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. Well, this is Bill Gordon, Juanito Montoya. He owns this job. Pleased to meet you. As am I, señor. Your friends are here, you know. My friends? Yes, they're waiting for you at the Café Iruña. You do not have to register now. Later. Go and find your friends and take them to the unloading of the bulls. I will see you there. Bien, Juanito. Bill. Who's he referring to? Your friend. I wonder. Is that Fred? Yeah. Who's the guy with her? Mike Campbell, the fellow she's going to marry. How do you do, sir? Bill Gordon. Glad to meet you. Bill, where did you come from? Budapest. By way of Paris. How was it? Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. So was Prague. Ask him about Berlin. Here you are, Bill. Well, thank you. Actually, Berlin was not so good, although it seemed better than it was. How do you mean? I was tight all the time. Just tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's something new. Thank you. Better have a drink. Thank you. Do you have good fishing, Jake? Yes, it was fine. Brett. That's what we should have done, joined them up in the mountains. We'd never have gotten here in time for the fiesta if we tried to go fishing. Well, Robert, where did you come from? San Sebastian. I arrived last night with Fred and Mike. My name is Robert Cohn. Oh, of course. My pleasure. How are you? Fishing. Haven't been fishing since the war. Tried to go often enough. Oh? Were you in the army? Yes. Indeed, I was. And what times we had. How I only wish those dear old days were back. Oh, don't be such an idiot, Michael. Actually, he was a very distinguished soldier. Tell them about the time your horse bolted down Piccadilly. I certainly will do nothing of the kind. It reflects discredit on me. Well, then tell them about your medals. That's even a worse story. You know, Brett only likes stories that reflect discredit on me. Not very good for a bankrupt. Bankrupt? Mm-hmm. How'd that happen to you? Two ways, gradually and suddenly. However, don't you think it's a rather gloomy subject? Yes, it certainly is. What do you say we go down and see the bulls unloaded? Oh, it's a splendid idea. Come along, Jake. You right with you? Have to settle this? Huh? Oh, you know, no, 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 please. Don't you think it's rather odd for bankrupt? I always seem to wind up with a check. Hmm. Coming? What are you doing here? I came to see the bullfights. I've never seen one before. Did you know I was going to be here? Of course I did. Robert told me. Where did you pick him up? That's who I went to San Sebastian with. Congratulations. What did you say that for? Well, what did you want me to say? I thought it might be good for him. Good for me, too. Oh, you ought to take up social work. Darling, don't be mean. Anyway, it didn't work out. Not for me. And then Michael came. Michael and I are going to get married as soon as he straightens his finances out. Perhaps you'd like me to help you arrange a short-term loan? That's not very funny. Isn't it? By the way, how does Michael feel about Robert? Oh, they seem to get along all right. You've got everything arranged very well, haven't you? Darling, please, don't. Don't be like that. I'm not. I'm just detached. Well, are we going to see these ferocious bulls, or are we not? Sure, come on. We were just waiting for you. Bill? Yes, you go on. Uh, um, 
Those are the steers. Steers? Yes, they receive the bulls and keep them from fighting among themselves. Don't, don't the bulls ever go the steers? Well, sometimes. Sometimes they go right after them and kill them. Can't the steers do anything about it? No, oh, they're too busy trying to make friends. That must be swell, being a steer. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a left and a right, just like a boxer. How many bulls are there? Well, there's six for the first fight and maybe one spare. Now watch this one. He'll quiet down as soon as he sees the others. how he digs with his left horn. Mm. Well, that's certainly no life being a spear. Oh, you don't think so? I should have thought you'd have loved being a spear, Robin. What do you mean, Mike? Well, they lead such a sort of say anything important and they're always hanging around, I should have thought you'd have enjoyed that. Aren't you going to say anything? Shut up, Mike. Cohen, don't you know when you're not wanted? I know when I'm not wanted. You're drunk. I am not drunk. I am not drunk at all. Shall we go? I think the show is over. Yeah. Robert, come on. Well, that was pleasant. Wasn't it? Michael, I do wish you'd try to behave. My dear, I am behaving. I'm just sick and tired of him hanging around, that's all. You know, you know, Jake, it's not that I'm jealous or anything like that, or I can help it if he's in love with Brett, but I do think he could behave like a man, don't you? Well, he's trying. Is he? Well, I'm not impressed. Jake, do you know what he calls Brett? Cersei, the temptress. He claims she turns men into swine. I read it in the letter he left for her. Pretty good, eh? Look, Mike, I don't care what he wrote in the letter to her, but let's just not spoil the whole fiesta, shall we? Mike, darling, will you please try not to make such a fuss? I shall do my best, my dear. I can't promise much, but I shall do my best. 
Oh, um, may I offer your ladyship a light? Oh, come on, Mike. Her ladyship. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Oh, what time is it? Well, it's just 6.30. Oh, what an uncivilized hour to get up. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't they do this thing at a little later time? You should have stayed out all night, dear girl, like we did. What is the Enciero, anyway? Well, it's the running of the bulls from the corral up to the ring. Anyway, it gives the young men of the town a chance to show their bravery. Sounds like a fine custom. Oh, my, my, now where'd Mike and Bill go? Well, they probably wanted to watch the bulls run through the streets. Let's us go and get seated for the finish. That's the best part.
I say, Bill, do you suppose you might find a way over here? Seems unlikely. <laughs> It's a personal check of mine, old boy. It's bounced three times. I was wondering if it could possibly have an effect on that animal. What's your card on? I shall. Oh! What said he's got in his hand? That looks like a check. Uh, oh, holy! I'm all right. Hey, 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 stop! Hey, Warren, where'd you go? Who asked you to help? Yeah, we were doing fine till you showed up. Always trying to mix in, aren't you, Robert? I thought you might get hurt. Don't worry about me. Don't ever worry about me. I've lost my check last year. Like he's lost something. Probably a check. <laughs> Here are your tickets. Oh, thank you. Would you like to come and see Pedro Romero before the fight? Yeah, but I don't want to bother him. Oh, it will be no bother at all. Come with me now. Bill, Bill, come on. Huh? Who's this Romero, Jake? One of the boys fighting this afternoon. They say he's going to be one of the great. amigos. Señor Barnes. Señor. Señor Gorton. Señor. Oh, eh? Pedro Romero. You go to the bullfight today? Oh, you speak English? No. But I speak English. Is there anything you would like to ask my brother Pedro? No, no, no. We just wanted to wish him good luck. I see. Thank you. Mucho suerte. Thank you. Uh, yes. Good luck. Gracias. Where are Robert and Mike? Oh, at the um, Café Rooney. He looks like a Torero, don't you think so? He is the type. Well, he's a good-looking kid, all right. It is important for a Torero to look like that. If he has everything else, the valor, the knowledge, but he does not look right, then he can never give you everything in the ring. That rules out Mike and me. That rules out <laughs> most people. I will see you after the fight. Right. Ah, here are the tickets. 
Two Barreras for Bill and me, and three seats higher up for the rest of you. Wonderful. Will you be all right? I'm a little nervous, but I think I'll be all right. What about you, Robert? I'm only worried that I might get bored. Do you think so? Do you really think you might get bored? Don't watch the horses after the bull hits them. Just look away. Oh, don't worry about Brett. I'll take care of her. I'm only worrying about Robert getting bored. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Come on, Bill. Yeah.
there they are. Jay. I say, that fellow Romeo, what's his name? He's really something, isn't he? Or am I wrong? Well, he's a bullfighter, all right. Oh, uh... <laughs> Where's Brett? Oh, she went upstairs to change. You weren't bored, were you, Robert? No, I wasn't bored. I hope you'll forgive me for that. There she is. Now. Beautiful. My dear, fantastic as usual. Oh, what a crowd. Couldn't we go someplace quiet for a change? Well, I think that could be arranged. Should we try the dining room? Right. Have you recovered? Almost. These bullfights are rather hard on one, aren't they? Están servicio ahora. Para mí el único, el único toro al que pudo haberle hecho faena era el primero. Ese sí. Para mí el último tenía más nervios, tenía más poder, era más codicioso. Oh, pero muy difícil para los de arriba. Hey, I think our Brett's getting a little too interested in bullfighters. I couldn't agree more. Jake, be a good fellow and don't tell her any more about him. Tell her they beat their poor old mothers. Yes, and tell me what drunks they are. Oh, frightening. Drunk all day. And beat their poor old mothers all night long. <laughs> yes, he looks a type. Excuse me just a minute. Prima vez, dear boy. Dos putillas de Marques de Riscal. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your work this afternoon. Jake, you might introduce us to your friends. Would you come and have a drink with us? Yes, I'd like. Here, Donnie. Senor Romero, Lady Ashley, Senor Owen, Mr. Campbell, Bill Ole. Martin, you know. Hello, right. Senor. Here to see. Gracias. You know, since watching you in a bull ring this afternoon, I'm ashamed of being a writer. This gentleman is a writer. This one, too. And you're the Senor. What does he do? Tell him the bulls had no horns today. Huh? What does he mean? Go ahead, Jack. Tell him the bulls had no horns today. He's drunk, borracho. Tell him Brett just wants to see him in those blue pants again. Pipe down, Mike. May I offer you a toast Pedro to... Romero. Gracias. Pedro. I'm sorry, I must go. Adios. Adios, senor. He's charming, polite, something you wouldn't expect at all. I wanted to tell him what I thought of the bulls, but old Jake kept interrupting me. Nobody was interrupting you. Oh, Jake did. But I'd like to get this thing settled. Uh, you, what have you got to say about it? Or are you just gonna sit there as usual, looking quietly superior? Hmm? Well, cut it out, will you, Mike? Of course, I'm not one of you literary friends. I'm not clever at all, but I do know when I'm not wanted. Now, why don't you just take that sad face and go away, hmm? Don't you think I'm right, Jake? Sure, sure. Let's all go over to the Arunia. Uh, no, I, I, I want to know if I'm right. You see, I happen to love that woman sitting there. Oh, don't start that again, Mike. Shove it along, will you, darling? I know what I'm saying. Jake does, too. So, just go away, hmm? Go away. But I won't go. Oh, then I suppose I shall have to make you. Come on. Come on. What's that? It's the fireworks. Come on, Mike. Let's go out and have a look at the show. Fireworks? It's outside. Good idea. It from there. Luminatus. 
A bunch of bloody fireworks all fizzling. <laughs> That's us. If he's getting philosophical again, Jake, we'd better get out of here. Mike. Hmm? Her ladyship wants a drink. Oh, how you know oh. things. Well, go ahead, I'll join you. I'll see you later. Magnificent display, is it not? Sick and tired of the whole thing. Robert, Michael, the whole group. Well, it's been hard on Mike having Robert around. Yes, I know, but he doesn't have to behave like that. Everyone behaves badly, given the proper chance. You wouldn't behave badly. I don't know. I, I'd probably be as big a fool as Mike or Robert. Not true. Yes, it is. You think the whole thing's my fault, don't you, Jake? Well, let's say that I don't think you're just an innocent bystander. It's funny, but you know, I really thought we had a chance, Michael and I. I should have known better, but I was so happy when he arrived in San Sebastian. Was he sober? Yes, he was, but it's not the drinking. It's not anything he does. And what about Cohn? Do you think you had a chance there, too? Oh, don't be difficult, Jake. I feel badly enough as it is tonight. Can I have some coffee? They don't have any coffee here. Stopped raining, shall we go? Mm -hmm. Dos pesetas. Gracias. No, this way. He was there. Yes. Can't stand to be away from you. I feel sorry for him. I don't. I hate him. I hate his suffering. He enjoys it. Sí, señor. I've changed my mind. I want a brandy. Oh, camarero. Señor. Café, no. Dos fundadores. Con mucho gusto. Acá, muchachos, pasen. Siéntense todos. Hasta ten, tú. Won't you sit down and join us? For a moment, uh, yes. Will you have a drink with us? No, I am with some people over there. You fight tomorrow, hmm? Si, but not with Al Capeno. He was hurt today in Madrid. Did you hear? No. Badly? No, it was here. Uh, nothing. May I? You tell fortunes? 
Sometimes. Do you mind? No, I, I like it. Tell me that I will live for always. And I will be a millionaire. Do you see any bulls in my head? Oh, yes, thousands of them. Good. There are a thousand duros apiece. Tell me some more. It's a very good hand. I think you'll live a long time. Say it to me, not to your friend. I said that you would live a long time. I know it. I am never going to die. No, don't do that. The, the bulls are my best friends. You always kill your friends. Always. So they <laughs> do not kill me. Mm. You know English very well, don't you? <laughs> See, uh, pretty well sometimes, but... Um, I must not let anybody know. It would be very bad for a torero who speaks English. Yes, why? Well, bullfighters are, are not supposed to be like that. What are bullfighters supposed to be like? <laughs> like at that uh, table over there. <laughs> no, I, I... I must forget my English. Oh, not for a little while yet. No? Excuse me, I'll go see what happened to Bill and Mike. No, 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 sit down. I just want to go find our friends. I'd like another brandy, please. Camarero, those funded dollars, por favor. Telling my fortune? Of course. But it might take a little while. Since you say I will live so long, I have time. Of course, you mustn't believe all the things I tell you. Some good wine, man. Well, there was a fly in my glass. There's been a fly in every glass I've had since I came down here. What's the matter? I don't know. I'm just low, that's all. Oh, come on. Have a pair now. That's what they're for. No, that won't do any good. Look, Bill, I... I hate to let you down, but I've... Got to get out of here. What? Where do you want to go? Back to Paris, fishing. I don't know anywhere. Oh, come on. What's the hurry? No, I've had it, that's all. Look here. Here's some money. Pay my share of the hotel bill, and if there's anything left, I'll pick it up from you later. Jake, I know how you feel. You know how I feel. Why should you? Come on, Jake, take it easy. Don't give me advice. I'm not giving And don't try to tell me how to live with myself. I know all about that. It's just living with other people that gets a little tough once in a while. Jake, wait, Jake, come here. Take it easy. Come on. Jake, talk oh. about it in the morning. Do Jake. your thing. Bill, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Come on, join us, <laughs> ladies. Brave East Come on, little one. There you are, my dear. Do you know something I've been throwing out about three cafes since I've seen you last? Only these little senoritas risky. You're very lucky. All of you, I mean. 
You know, they don't speak a word of English, but they always seem to be thirsty. Oh, little <laughs> darling. Wait up. Oh, wait up. Wait up. Go, son, boy. <laughs> Nobody home. Do you know something? The service around this town is getting worse and worse every night. Perhaps it's me. Thank you. Matter of fact, I'm afraid it is me. Nobody seems to pay much attention to me anymore. Perhaps the word has leaked out about your finances. A definite possibility. Wait up! Brett? I don't know. She was with you. Maybe she's gone home to bed. Sit down, Robert. I don't know where she is. Don't lie. You do know. I'm not lying. Oh, shut up. Cohen, she's probably gone off with a bullfighter. Maybe they're married by now. Is that where she is? Go away, Robert. If she was with you, is that where she is? Now, wait. Wait, what to lose? You understand what you're doing, Rob? Robert. Oh, Brett. What have I done? Please, you must go, Robert. Please. I love you, Brett. Please leave now. Pedro. Pedro. guys look let's go find Mike <laughs> General 
bedroom and good morning. I was wondering what had become of you. How are you, Mike? Never better, dear boy. Never better. Oh, well, as good as can be expected. Sit down, sit down. Have your shoes shined. No, 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 thanks. I've had mine done seven times. They look pretty clean. Ah, yes, but you cannot get these fellows to agree. Oh, yeah. El Senor, huh? No, no. Oh, you need some of the throat. Jake, can't leave him sitting around doing nothing. No, no, I'm all right. I guess. Jake, you may think you're all right, but your shoes need shining. Now, look. Oh. Here comes her ladyship. Right. I found you. Um, more beer, si, senor. more shrimps, gambas. Muy bien. Si, Has senor. Robert left yet? I don't know. Nobody's seen him since last night. How's Romero? He's all right. He won't leave his room. Is he badly hurt? Yes, but he's going to fight this afternoon. <laughs> Brett has got a bullfighter. She had a bloody nuisance for a while, but uh, that didn't work out. Now she's got a bullfighter with blue pants. And where am I? I'm sitting here having my shoes shot. Mike, take it easy, huh? Take it easy. Tell me, Lady Brett, how is your boyfriend? Very well. Watch him this afternoon. Will you walk with me, Jake? I'd like to talk to him. Yes, go ahead. Tell him all about your bullfighter. Don't worry about a thing. I shall pay for everything. No, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Yes, sir. Have you seen what's going on? That's right. This man has broken all the rules. I think I'll teach him a lesson. You don't want to pay. You don't want to pay. Give me the money immediately. He's just playing. He's an officer. He's playing. I don't understand that. Here they pay immediately. Rather bad form, that wasn't it? Forget it, Mike. We all have our moments. That policeman, he struck Mike, me. forget it. I'm going back. No, you're not. I am. I forgot my binoculars. Is there uh, anything you want me to do? No, just walk with me. I don't want to go in yet. He's still asleep. I wish the wind would die down. It's dangerous for him. I know. He says the bulls are all right. They're good. Will you wait for me a minute? You know, I'm really not worried about him. I know he'll be all right. I do wish the wind would drop. May go down by five o'clock. Let's hope so. Is, uh, 
that what you were praying for? No, I was praying for him. You will look after Mike, won't you, Jake? Yeah. What are you thinking? Just lucky that I'm around to look after your wounded. He's young, he doesn't know much. Don't listen to anything, just watch. Only one trick. He's certainly not going to live to be a very old boat fighter. It's empty. How about?
is a special kind of hell. Their women usually stay at home. I can understand why. Señor, ¿me permite una palabra? Sí. El matador espera a la señorita. ¿Eh? El matador espera a la señorita. Romero would like to speak to you. You'll take your train. Tenga la onda. A mí que os Soy el mozo de estoques de Romero. Sí, señor. last night, Jake. I wasn't myself. No? And who hit me? I know nothing I could say will change matters, but I was in love with it, Jake. That's why I took everything. I knew right from the beginning it was hopeless, but I couldn't resign myself to the fact. I hung around. I hung around when I knew I should get out, but I couldn't go, Jake. People always want what they can't have, I guess. I don't know, she was the only person I ever met who made any sense to me. Forget it, Robert. But you were the only friend I had, Jake. Forget it. It wasn't all your fault. Have a drink, I'll see you tonight at dinner. I'm leaving tonight. Where are you going? Paris. And then America. You want to see Francis? Try to straighten things out. I only hope I'm not too late. 
I hope so, too. Good luck, Robert. Thanks, Tate. Enter friend or foe. Hello, Jay. Come in, old boy. Yes, Brett's gone. Gone off for that bullfighter. Frankly, don't think she should have done it. It's very bad, actually. Oh, Jay, care for a drink? No. I can ring down and get you something. No, no, thanks. I was just going upstairs to lie down. Oh. You know, I... I told her she was making a mistake. Asking for trouble. <laughs> you know what she did? She said something rather funny. She said, oh, I've given up such a lot. I've had such a happy life with the British aristocracy. <laughs> Pretty funny, don't you think? Oh, Brett. Dear, dear Brett. Uh, Jake, just out of curiosity, are you drunk? No. <laughs> See, well, I am. Why don't you try to get some sleep, Mike? Mm-hmm. I will, over. A little later, hmm? Oh, Jake, uh, you won't forget to come to dinner tonight, will you? Already it seems as if there are about six people missing. Sure. See you at dinner. Right. Bung ho, old boy. Bung ho. It's all over. Some fiesta. It had its moments. You know, I feel rather badly about Cohen. Didn't behave too well there, did I? In the end, it didn't make any difference anyway. Where do you suppose he went? Probably back to Francis. He's better off that way. Where are you going now, Mike? Hmm? Oh, the Riviera. You know, can, knees, all that sort of stuff. I'm absolutely flat broke, old boy. You want some money? No, no, thanks. I've got my ticket. Once I get to Nice, I'll be all right. Loads of credit there. How soon do you leave for New York? I sail on the 17th. I shall miss you, old boy. I shall miss both of you. I'm going to go say goodbye to Montoya. Meet you at the car. You sure you'll be all right? No question about it. Waiter. Si, senor. A small fundador, please. Está bien. Limpia. 
Limpia. Go ahead, amigo. Bueno, Juanito, adiós y gracias por todo. Adiós. Juanito, I wanted to say goodbye. Adiós. I also wanted to say how badly I feel about this Romero business. That was his brother. Romero was to fight next Sunday at San Sebastián. Now he has sent the wire, and he has canceled. Canceled? Oh, I am sorry, Juanito. Give her. It is not your fault. That is life. There are always some bad things happen at a feria. You and I will forget it. Let's hope so. I will see you next year. You can count on it. Take care of yourself, Juanito. You too. If there is mail, where shall I send it? Oh, the Hotel du Palais in Biarritz. I'm going there to rest for a week before I go back to work. I'm sure you need it. Adios. Adios, Juanito. You wouldn't believe it, would you? It's all like a wonderful nightmare. I believe in anything, including nightmares. Well, let's go. A telegram for you, sir. Thank you. I thought there might be a reply. Is Mark urgent? Well, when is there a train from Madrid? Nine o'clock tonight, sir. The Sud Express. Can you get me a sleeper on it? Oh, yes, sir. You do not want to send any reply? No, no, thank you. I'll thank do it you, later. Sir. ¿Qué desea? Uh, Lady Ashley, por favor. ¿Quién? Lady Brett Ashley, señor Romero's friend. Ah, señor Romero. María Luisa, acompaña al señor al cuarto número 10. trouble. You're short of funds, is that it? Oh, Jake, please don't. I can't take any more. What do you have to take? You had what you wanted. That's not true. You mean to tell me Romero left you? No. I wish he had. It would have been easier. I had to make him go. And I wasn't sure he would. That's why I wired you. I didn't have a cent to go away and leave him. Uh, what was your hurry? There was no hurry. 
I just didn't want to hurt him, and I knew that ultimately I would. I thought I'd found someone who might make me forget you. I thought I was wrong. I don't expect you to believe me. You know, he's only 22 years old. And I'm not going to be one of those women who ruin children. I knew that the longer it lasted, the more it would hurt. As it is, I've only hurt his pride a little. Well, how much money do you need? I don't know. I'll pay you when I get back to Paris. Darling, we could have had such good times together. Isn't it pretty to think so? Goodbye, Jake. Right. Jake! Don't leave me. Take me with you, please. Don't leave me alone now. All right, pack your things and let's get out of here. No, leave it. Leave everything. Sure, you're not going to miss any of those things you left behind. No. No, I left nothing and I've I'm really missed. Don't we pay for the things we do, though? It seems to me that you said that same thing before, not so very long ago. You're right. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's never talk about it again. Have you got a cigarette, Jake? You know, he, he learned his English as a waiter in Gibraltar. He wanted to marry me, finally. Probably thought it would make him Lord Ashley. No, he really wanted to marry me. He said then I couldn't go away and leave him. Well, that's the same notion a lot of people have had. Please don't be mean, Jake. Let's really never talk about it again. It's all right with me. But you know, it, it makes one feel rather good to behave decently again. It's sort of what we have instead of God. Some people have God. Quite a lot. Yes, I know. He never worked very well with me. Maybe you didn't really try. Maybe not. You know, the awful thing is that it could have been so simple. Because you're the only man I could ever love, Jake. Well, where do we go from here? I don't know. There must be an answer for us somewhere. I'm sure there is. One generation passes away and another generation comes, but the earth abides forever. The sun also rises. Mm -hmm.